unfortunately, I've been in a situation where I've been hated by someone, and this someone, it, it was my grandmother. Uh, apparently, she, now that I'm older, I found out the reasons why she hated me. She hated me because she associated me with my mother, and apparently they had some problems before. People who hate others, they don't realize about the harm that they cause to other people. I'm pretty sure that you have been in a situation when someone did not like you for no reason. You may have felt bad, confused. Uh, since I've been in a situation where I've been hated, uh, I wanted to understand more of this problem, so therefore I did some research to find out how we can stop this problem. Our feelings of hatred towards other people have negative impacts on those people that we hate and as well as to ourselves. First, I will be talking about the problems. Then I will move on to that I will move on to the solutions, and then I also will talk about the causes. Uh, so first, I will move, move to the problems. In order to better understand why we hate others, we need to analyze some of the problems. Hate between family members. All it does is just creating a negative environment for the children. Even though it in some situations, the parents still provide some affection on, on, on little moments, that is just not enough. According to the article, Parental Hatred that proposes Loving Attachment by Edward on 2014, a parent who hates a child can at times still behave in ways that meets that child's need, such as food, shelter. However, the children will miss the most important relationship, with, which is the relationship between parent and children. They will grow up without affection. So, hate by association not, does not only affect our family, it's also affecting minorities. Hate is a powerful feeling, and today minorities are being targeted by hate crimes, hate speeches, even racial profiling. There have been many cases where I'm sure you guys have seen on the news, young African Americans are getting shot by police officers just because they, they have been associated with criminals based on their skin, skin color. These people who are victims of hate by association often end up dead or, or they end up with many psychological problems. According to Doug Mayer, in his article published on 2010 in the British Journal of Sociology, researchers have found that victims of hate crime often end up with PTSD, anxiety, anger, and despair. So, I just talked about some of the problems. I will now move on to the solutions. So what causes people to hate others? According to the article, Depression and Couples Brain Circuit, published in the Molecular Psychiatry of 2013, hate is associated with, is related to feelings of self-awareness. People who hate others often are not happy with their lives. They hate, they tend to blame their problems on other people. Most parents who hate their children often have been hated by their own parents. So today, how, how are minorities being hated? This is happening because there, there have been people who are expressing feelings of hate towards all. For example, after the massacre of San Bernardino on, on, December, on December 2nd, Americans have targeted Muslims as terrorists and enemies. According to, to an article published in the New York Times website on December 12, 2015, the top Google search in California with the word Muslims in it has been kill all Muslims. Just because the killers that happen, that, that happen to kill these people in San Bernardino were Muslims does not mean that all of them are terrorists. This, they, they have, now Muslims are living in, in, in a state of fear because they, they're scared for their families because they have been associated with terrorists. When at the end of the day, they're, they're not all bad people. So now that I just talked about some of the solutions, I will now, I'll talk about some of the causes. I will now move on to the solutions. In order to have a calm and happy life, we need to stop this problem. So, as a society level, what we can do is to stop grouping people into categories. We need, we, we need to learn not to blame other people based because for other people's mistakes. According to the article, Hatred Solidification of Meaning of the Red 2014, Nancy Jan Lu says, if I say that I hate, I am performing an act of hate which has noticeable effects in terms of offending some and, and stirring up others. Basically, when you hate someone, all you are doing is spreading hate. 
which is which is why we should start doing because we need we need, we need to live in a good society for our kids in the future. So personally, since I've been in a situation when I've been hated, I what I would do to avoid this feeling is treat everyone with respect and basically forgiving people. I, I realized as I grew up older that forgiving people is the key to move on and, and not hold hate to the other person who may have hurt you before. So now that I just talked about some of the solutions, I will now wrap things up. So hating others for no reason can have a negative impact on yourself and the people around you. We cannot take our anger on others based on someone else's mistakes. First, I talk about some of the problems, then I discuss some of the causes, and also I offer some solutions. So as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, I grew up always hearing my grandma saying that she hated me. Uh, this was very painful, to be honest. What I did was always try to enroll in activities where I would be away from home. This is why I joined the soccer academy when I was six years old, which gave me the opportunity to move out of the country. I grew up with no family, basically just friends or myself. And to be honest, that was very helpful because I I always envy people who talk about how they love their grandmas and how they're being spoiled by them. And to be honest, I miss that. And it's sad that I never got the chance to experience it. 